Today is Blogger Day 1140, and I'm finished. You used to call me on my cell phone. Good morning, and welcome to day two of what is, I guess, the end of the daily vlog. We're both packed up, we're ready to go. I thought I'd give you a little Airbnb tour here because, you know, I bet you're curious. This is the kitchen area with a couch and a TV. It's the, all the common space we had. Lots of fans in here, thankfully. That's probably the best part of this Airbnb. Back here, through the entryway, and into one of the two bathrooms. Woo, look at that. It's a bathroom with what looks like an air conditioning unit up here. I don't even know if it's ventilated fan or what, but I'm trying. This is my room in here. It is pretty sizable as well. The view out here is kind of cool. It's not like a fantastic view or anything, but just the old crusty buildings with the abandoned laundry that's been out there for, I would guess, I don't know, a decade at least, maybe a century, who knows. And this is Jenica's magic room. And we're having to do our laundry because for some reason that's our responsibility. <laughs> so we're here, we're washing the sheets. She says it's just to leave those out to dry and uh, then we're leaving. We gotta go catch an early train. Unfortunately, there are only like two trains out to Calvi and we had to take the earliest one to make it in time to check in to our next Airbnb. And then there's only like two trains back to a JCO the next day. So we're also having to get up really early for that right after today. Besides giving you a brief Airbnb tour and uh, obviously moving camp to Calvi, I wanted to talk a little bit about, well, two things. It's running out of time. There's not a lot of time left to talk about very much at all. One, thank you for watching, for those of you that have watched. And two, that's one of the reasons I'm glad, grateful for my vlog is that in having people watch and holding myself accountable and how I hear myself, vlogging for the last three years has actually been hugely beneficial to me personally, both in my personal growth, but also just, I think, in my mental health. <laughs> Our place is right across the street from the uh, the port. Obviously, if you couldn't tell from the port shots, but like right across the street, literally. All right, we're gonna walk to the train station now. The goal is to buy tickets first because we don't know really anything about how this works. So we're just gonna go ahead. I mean, train tickets shouldn't be complicated. Buy some tickets, get to Calvi, wander around a little bit, get lunch, and then uh, go check into the new Airbnb and just go straight to bed. No, <laughs> yes, no. Bobby on my cell phone. Supposedly it's an extremely slow train, <laughs> so we're gonna it's gonna take us three hours to get there, and it's like not that far away, but it should be good. Uh, we're we haven't eaten anything, so we're gonna pop over to the cheesy little station cafe here grab something to eat, and then uh, hop on the train in all of like, what, 20 minutes? Sweet, let's get something to snack. tiniest train station. Well, that's not true. I'm sure there's one that doesn't even have like more than a bench, but it's nice. Okay, gotta get on this train and then I'm going to the front of the train. Whee! Also small as this train is gonna take us all the way there and stops a whole bunch of times. I know 
originally we talked about stopping here at Il Bruce. But in the end, I guess we're not going to stay here. Well, it's obviously in the end we're not going to stay here. I don't remember how we decided not to stay here, though. I think we thought we would have time to stop here along the way, back when we were debating between cars and trains and didn't realize how few trains ran between. But fortunately, it's not going to be possible to make a, a little stop over here like we originally thought. Oh, darn, I guess we'll just have to come back. But we are over halfway there. I think we only have 45 minutes, maybe, left. Time we're supposed to arrive. Hopefully only about a half an hour left, which is great. A little bit of nap time here, and then lunch there. Rip around, ready to go. train station slightly smaller slightly smaller but kind of it's much much more adorable okay uh we got to find food we haven't looked up any restaurants we don't know what we're doing but look at these palm trees this is great okay we'll just find a spot as long as there's i just want food you want to see at one of these spots not this one okay Lunch was great. I was fine. Uh, <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm so like anticlimactic when it comes to the food right now. I don't know what it is. I need to shape up. Shape up. Anyways, we're walking up alongside this giant structure that uh, looks like a, it's a big wall. Fortress. The Citadel. People keep talking about citadels and I just wasn't sure if this was it. Is this the one? I think so. Yeah. Okay, we're at the Citadel. We're gonna wander for a little bit. We have a little bit of time before we check into Airbnb and then we'll figure out what we do from there. <laughs> There are two elements to this that I was thinking about though today about how vlogging every day has actually helped me to, I think, improve my mental health. I don't know, well, mental health is one actually, because it definitely gave me an outlet when I was struggling so hard in Spokane to branch out, to reach out to people that were beyond it and to just feel like I was doing something along the lines of what I wanted to do and like I was building towards something, even if I didn't know where that was going. But one of the big ones during that time that I've talked about before was the ability to stop and talk and listen to myself and reflect and hear where I was at and then take the time to adjust how I was thinking, how I was feeling about any given situation and really just kind of like bounce things back off myself and in the moment improve my outlook, if not my attitude and even, you know, the hope that I had for the future or just the world around me. Really, really, really helpful. Hey, Another arena is in handling struggles, like just your regular everyday struggles in life. Whether those are minor inconveniences like missing a train or getting stuck in traffic or anything like that, by telling a story with my life every day and seeing myself a bit as a character completely changes your perspective on those problems during the day because any good story requires conflict. Any good story requires that you have a little bit of a struggle to get what you want. There has to be some sort of roadblock. So every time you hit a roadblock, you're like, oh, well, let's make a better story. And over time, it totally changes your mentality. You stress less, you think less about like, oh, if only this had happened or that. And instead you just kind of accept things as they are. Keep moving forward and 
in some weird ways, enjoy the struggles and the conflict that come as you go. These ramparts are super cool. There's they, a what? There's a little like part, the overlook there, but there's no shade. Oh. Well, we're here, we gotta find our Airbnb. I'm almost out of battery, so I'm gonna have to charge my camera one way or the other. And we'll probably come out and do a little bit more exploring later, so I'll throw that together. Just in case things go sideways, or we don't have internet or something. More Genic time. And just generally, you know, we'll be on a train for a while. Okay, there's a good chance we have to come back up here for sure. <laughs> Our, ho our Airbnb is very strange. I had to come back, recharge the batteries, literally and figuratively. This place, they basically built an apartment out of like storage at the far end of this hotel. So Jenica is gonna get the room tonight. I'll get the couch. I already napped on the couch once. And uh, as you can see, it's all scrunchy and uh, not terribly uncomfortable, which is great. The only uncomfortable thing in here really, uh, underneath this like uh, techno Christmas tree in the corner is the sauna that is this bathroom. You won't be able to feel this when I walk in here, but oh my goodness, it feels like the heat is on in here. I guess it's because there's a ventilation to the outside or whatever, and there's we do have, thank, thank God we have a little bit of air conditioning in the room itself, but in here, it it's 20 degrees hotter at least. Not, I'm not being dramatic, even more maybe. Whew, that is gross. Okay, so we're gonna wander back into town, find some food. I'll film a little bit more of Calvi as we explore, and uh, let's get out of here. It's low on the sketch points, but it is kind of sketchy that the door itself doesn't lock, so we have to lock the shutters outside of them. Super secure. That brittle wood would break under like the, the lightest pressure. And I'm saying this now because we're leaving tomorrow, so there's no way you could rob us anyways. Okay, let's go into Kelby. <laughs> I had to make sure to send off a bunch of postcards to my family because I keep forgetting to do that. Now it's done. Grandma, on its way to you. We're gonna look and see about buying tickets to Ajaccio before we wander too much farther into town. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. We have to do. What's wrong? It says 625. Yeah, so we we our, our notes for 635 would have been 10 minutes late, so that was good. They won't let us buy the tickets now. She said we have to show up just a little bit early and buy the tickets tomorrow. So show up tomorrow, buy our tickets, and we'll 625 hop on the train. The only other option is to get on the train at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we wouldn't get in until like 8 or 9 tomorrow. And then that means we don't get to see a JC, or I don't get to. She's going to be staying with Ricky for a while longer, but I will miss it. So uh, it's another early morning tomorrow, which means let's go get some ice cream and enjoy a little bit more of the town and then go to bed. <laughs> Forgot to say, we got dinner on the way at one of the cheaper places along the way, and she got a burger. I just had some fries. I asked for just like a, a portion of fries and got a whole plate, which I did not finish. It's way too much, but it's not feeling all that hungry. Not sure if it's the heat or what. Still really toasty. The magic hour that's coming on right now is incredible. Definitely looking forward to getting up to the top here and taking one more look around before uh, heading back and getting this thing put together so we can get up early in the morning and take another train out of here.
Not a bad spot to end the evening with a little bit of a sunset. Vlogging over the last three years has been really good for me in a number of ways. If for another reason than like I was, I've been saying it's gotten me out, it's kept me disciplined, it's really been encouraging and motivating, especially even, even when it's hard, even when I don't really feel like doing it in the moments where I don't feel like doing my edit or I don't feel like getting up and going out and vlogging, I'm really, really grateful that I've been able to and that I've continued to and that it's existed in my life and been such a, such a I don't know, integral part of my life for the last three years. Because overall, I think all of the good is significantly outweighed uh, any of the bad. So I'm grateful for it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to pop out of here to a JCO tomorrow and uh, explore a little bit there, see Ricky again, and uh, yeah, catch you bright and early tomorrow. <laughs> really bright and early tomorrow morning for that. It's going to be dark and early. It's going to be dark yeah. and early? <laughs> Bye.